Hey friends, welcome to part two of our cereal box canvas mixed media portrait tutorial. We have our cereal box canvas all set to go, got it all painted up, and it's had a good opportunity to dry overnight. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to layer on some mixed media elements. One of my very favorite things to work with is I, I totally love text pages, and I think that's a, you know, that's kind of a Jenny Belly throwback. <laughs> she, uh, man, can she do some really extraordinary things with text pages. So we're going to layer on some text pages, and I am very fond of allowing my text pages to kind of drop over the side of whatever it is I'm working on. So we'll just let this one drop over. Now, a word of caution here when you're working with with the boxes, it, there it's really easy to get them too wet. So we're going to have to be a little careful about what we're doing here. We just have to be aware of not making anything too wet. So you know, different from a, a real live, real real canvas. Okay, we're going to layer on some text pages. These are from one of my favorite books. It is uh, Curtain by Agatha Christie. I'm a huge Inspector Poirot fan. I am not going to do a lot of covering, <coughs> excuse me y'all, on this side of the box because this is where my portrait is going to go. And I'm going to show you how to draw a very, very, very simple, 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 simple portrait. Layer on a few more things here. When I finish on the front, I'm also going to layer a few a few text pages onto the side too. And you can see how nicely this cereal box canvas works. I mean it's it is just it is kind of the same thing as working with a real you know, a real canvas. Okay, that doesn't want to come up. It wants to stay right there, so we'll just let it stay right there. <laughs> okay, and all I'm using, I'm using a little bit of, uh, I'm using the actual real Mod Podge tonight because I have some today, whatever it is. I've been working in the yard and I'm kind of um, out of it. A lot of digging, but that's okay. I'll, I like to dig. All right, let's go for one more right here. And then we're going to work on our sides just a little bit. Now you can see what this side is looking like. We've already got some nice texture going on here. We've got some nice. Um, text page outlay already and that's very cool so let's just do just a little more and we'll also we want to uh, to put some stamps on here as well a little bit of stamping okay I think I'm gonna let's put just one more over here There we go. Okay. All right. Now, let me see what else can I add here. I would kind of like to add just a little more texture. This is a napkin that a friend of mine sent me. And I just they look so lovely on any sort of mixed media that you do. And the great thing about them is they go down super nice to you. All right, let's do that there. And maybe do another part of this napkin up here and let that one stretch over to the side like this. And there we go. Um, hmm, I think I'm going to opt for a little bit of this beautiful pink, and I don't, I think my friend Noit sent me that. She lives in Israel. I think 
I'm going to use that right here. Oh, wow, that's really pretty. Wow, I like that a lot. Let's put a little bit of that there. Okay, now, I think we need something right here. And I know that my portrait is going to be right here, so we'll, just, we'll have to be a little bit careful about what we put over here. I do want the, the portrait we're going to do separately on another piece of paper and then stick it on this canvas. So I don't want it to, uh, I want it to set flush on my canvas. Okay, I like that. All right, I'm going to step away for just a minute and do some drawing and we'll be right back. Hello friends, I've done a little bit of drawing here and I've also worked on the, um, the edges of my canvas just a little bit. I've added some, a text stamp, you know, not much, not really much at all, but I did want to give you a little hint, I'm still a little sticky here, about how to stamp on a cereal box canvas. You want to kind of hang on to the inside of your canvas and stamp. This is a beautiful stamp that my pal Bunny made me and I love it and I use it all the time. So you're pressing up on the inside of your canvas while you're stamping. So you just want to be kind of uh, aware of that. You know, remember when we talked about it's not the sturdiest thing in the whole wide world but it sure is you know, Everybody has a box, <laughs> so, you know, no trip to the craft store or anything like that, which is kind of cool. All right, we're going to stamp just a little few more here. I think that, that makes it look just really super elegant. On the front, same thing. You're going to kind of just brace it on the back and then decide where you want your stamp to go and then stamp. And, you know, you, you aren't getting a super clean image, but that's, you know, that's okay. And the more you do this, the more you'll kind of get the hang of pushing up and using, using like your hand and the stamp together to get a nice clean image. So there we go. We've got our edges done. Put the top back on my ink pad. And we're ready to add a little bit of color. Again, this is, this, is, this is cardboard, so we can't get too wet with this. But what I would like to do is use some sprays and a stencil and see if we can just get just a little bit of color going on here. I don't want to go too dark, so I'm going to choose something that is um, some lighter. I, I love this lemon yellow. Uh, I'm going to use, hmm, this is a tiny bit of Perfect Pearls Blue, and I think that, um, I do have something new here to try. This is Tim Holtz Distress Spray Stain, so I think I might try that, just, just because uh, my beautiful friend sent it to me and I haven't tried it yet. And, of course, it's wrapped in plastic, so we might, we might not be able to get into it and try it. Let's see. Oh, hey, that came off pretty good. We'll see if we can't get in here, y'all. And we're supposed to shake it before we start. And there we go. Let's see. Let's just see how this looks. This is uh, Tim Holtz Distress Spray Steam Broken China. So we'll just we'll give it a whirl and see how it works. Okay, wow, that's really pretty. I like that. I'm going to pick up the stencil and rub it. I like to do that. I like to just give it a little rub on another part of the canvas. Kind of looks really cool when you do that. Doesn't that look super neat? All right, I'm going to rub my canvas dry. I mean, rub my stencil dry. And I think the next thing I might try is a little bit of lemon yellow. You can see I've got some pooling here. That's, that's okay. We'll just, we'll, we'll work through it. We'll see what happens with this. 
This is a uh, Delusions Lemon Zest ink spray. Let's see how this looks. Wow, okay, that's cool too. This has got to be like one of my favorite colors because I like the... Um, I like the way it lifts everything that's on the canvas. It just kind of brings it out. I'm going to do a little bit of drawing, and then I'll be right back. Okay, friends, this is where we are so far. We have our mixed media elements on here, a little bit of text, a little bit of text pages, a little bit of uh, napkins, some stamping, some spraying. Next thing that we're going to want to do is add some gesso. If you don't have gesso, white paint works just fine, so no troubles there. You're going to want to get a credit card or something to pull some... some uh, paint or gesso across your little canvas here. And let me see if I can get my paint open. I have white paint. Yay! <laughs> one of my, uh, one of you kindly sponsored my channel and uh, bought me some white paint. So that is awesome. Um, I can't get it open though. Darn. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I think I've almost got it. I'm working on it. Oh, there we go. Okay. Take just a little bit of white paint or gesso or whatever you have. Forgot to shake it. Shake, shake, shake. I'm going to put just a little bit out. I'm going to swipe my credit card through it. I don't want much on here because I don't want it to cover everything that I've done. But I do want that smudgy, cool effect. You can see too that it's kind of um, smearing the, the spray that we did. I don't really mind that. I think it kind of looks neat. If that's going to trouble you, you might want to, I don't know what to do about that because every time I spray something and put something over it, it does that, no matter whether I dry it or not. But again, it's no, no worries there. And we're going to remember our, our sides. We're going to do our sides. to get a little too much here so I'm going to scrape a little bit off but uh, no worries and there we go not too much down here all right okay you guys this is what we've got so far and I like the way it looks I love the colors I think they look really super cool the next thing that I want to do is an optional step. You can do it or you cannot do it. I am the lucky recipient of some, um, some of these wonderful Neo Color 2 crayons. So I'm just going to use a little bit of Neo Color 2 at the top. And then I'm going to do a dripping technique with my brush. You do not have to do this. You can do it with water-soluble pencils. You can do it by dropping just a little bit of acrylic paint up here and then just tilting your canvas and letting it roll down. I have, um, let me see, I have a little bit of green. I have some purple. Um, I think I'm going to opt for a couple shades of blue. This is a Tamara Laporte technique. And it really turns out so pretty. And I just wanted to, I haven't tried it in a really long time, and I may have just forgotten how to do it, you guys. But let's see, let's just bear with me and see if I remember. All right, we've added some color at the top. And then we're going to take our brush, and we're going to push it into the color. And allow it to drip. I'm not getting a lot of dripping here. And I'm really, you know, kind of afraid to, oh, there we go. There's some dripping right there. To get my canvas too wet because, like I said, oh, there we go. There we go. Okay. You can see the effect 
that happens here. It's just really, really pretty. Kind of looks like a candle dripping, you know? Still don't have it quite wet enough. I'm <laughs> terrified to make it too wet. <laughs> We've really got it going now. You can see what happens here. If you took acrylic paint and did the same thing, you would get that same sort, the same sort of effect. I'm gonna, because I've got the Neo Color 2 on my brush, I'm just gonna kind of brush around the outer edge of my canvas. I think that one makes it look really nice. And you can see where the drips, where it dripped. Again, I'm, I'm a little wary of getting this too wet, but I did want to show you that technique. Again, that's Tamara Laporte, and it's such a pretty thing to do. And if you are the recipient of some gorgeous Neo Color crayons, you can try that. My friend, Joy, who is another of my art muses, <laughs> gave me these, and they are just precious to me. They are just so cool. All right, we are going to stop right here. I'm going to draw this. I'm going to let it set overnight, and then tomorrow when we come back, we're going to work on our portrait to go on our cereal box mixed media canvas. Talk to you all tomorrow. Bye.